Hello learners, so now let's know some digital and assessment tools that are used in hybrid learning environment. Take note that these digital and assessment tools are also used in high flex learning environment. So these are according to categorization. So the first category is what we call the student interaction. So in this particular category, these are the strategies to encourage learners to gather in a hybrid learning. So example common scenarios, we have creating groups for students togetherness. So in this part, they can use that particular platform listed below. Example, you have the Facebook, they can use the Facebook Messenger for their groupings. And then they can have the WhatsApp, the Telegram and Signal. And then the other activity, we have breakout rooms with students togetherness. So here, we can utilize the platforms, the WebEx, the MS Teams, the Zoom meeting, and then the Zoho meeting, and many other video conferencing app. Second, we have student participation. It strategizes to encourage uh, learners to participate in hybrid learning. So in this case, these are the common learning activity. Encourage participation by all students. You invite responses to questions and assign time for students to share the reflections. So in this part, the purpose of this is basically uh, participation encourages uh, deeper forms of learning. So here are the example tools used, Flippity, Class Tools, and Wheel of Names. So in this uh, particular tools, it can be used to randomly pick names or to generate randomized list of students in a class who will can then be asked to respond a particular uh, question and participate in class discussion in that particular order. The third categorization is the active learning. So th in this particular categorization, it strategizes to encourage active learning in the hybrid learning. So the example, uh, scenario is we have your uh, polls, uh, quizzes, and fact checks. So the purpose of this one, the polls and fact checks keeps learners engaged and work as, as for uh, formative forms of assessment by providing real-time feedback to the students. So tools uh, such as Mentimeter, uh, Slido, Kahoot, uh, Pull Everywhere, Quizlet, as well as pools built into the web meeting platforms can be used for, uh, for quizzes and polls. So chat options and social media groups can also be used in this particular activity. Some tips that you can explore for formative learning, like collaborative note-taking on shared files such as Google Docs, Zuhu Docs, and Confluence. Back channels on your meeting platforms, just like your chat option. Discussion forums, such as those on your learning management system. Fourth and last, we have the collaboration learning. So these are the strategies to encourage collaboration learners together in hybrid learning. So students can work collaboratively on various platforms. Some strategies and tools are mentioned below. So for example, work together on the platforms like uh, Google Slides, uh, Google Sheets, Google Docs, uh, Prezi, Flipgrid, and many others. This is to allow learners to collaborate and help maintain accountability. And next, you can use the annotation tools and then share digital content on virtual whiteboards through sites like Padlet, Jamboard, and Wikilet. And those are some assessment tools in hybrid learning that you can also use in high flex learning environment.